The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios, MorrisMediaLive.com, or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. Global Street Wave Radio. Put your phones out right now. Global Street Wave Radio. Tune in right now, right now. Tune in right now, right now, right now. So pick up your phone and call. Miss Bossy gon' answer your call. Stay connected like Wi Fi. Dip the wave, dip the wave. Live them like bye bye. Y'all see me fixing myself. Damn. Well, I might as well finish. <laughs> we all self-conscious. I'm just the first to admit it. Global Street Waves in the building and we did it. I'm here. Where you at? You better be watching me live. MorrisMediaLive.com. Tell your mama, your girlfriend, your side chicks, your husbands, your wives. Tell your girlfriends, your boyfriends, your girlfriends, girlfriends. Tell your everybody. Tell your kids. Because I ain't going to cuss today. I'm lying. This is rated R. Y'all, what's up, y'all? Global Streetway. I'm uh, turned up off my specialty, which is coffee. So, shouts out to all my coffee drinkers. You know, you got to keep that candy for that old stinking ass breath. My co host over here don't eat all the candy. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to have some candy, but I'm going to show you who they is in a minute. But right now, she's a little Halloween little munchkin because she over here munching those munchies I brought. So, I got a couple of lovely people with me today, y'all. But I wanted to. Uh, Talk about a couple of things and just play some dope ass videos. You know what I'm saying? I love talking. Y'all know I love talking. Whoever know Bossy knows she always running her mouth. She always talking, but she be making sex though and yeah. dollars. I be making a lot of sense. So today I wanted to talk about social media. You know, uh, we all have these fake personas on social media. Some people actually have a real persona. And a lot of people walk around here and you know, you want to commit suicide and you're all depressed and shit because you're looking at your phone. Bought me a new phone, y'all. You're looking at your phone and you're looking at other people's life and you all fucked up because you're thinking of oh, cuss so your kids can't watch. You all looking like, dang, I wish I could live like that. Like, no. You know, stop. What happened to back in the days? We had pagers. We used to text people. Uh, uh, not text people, but call people. Forget texting. We used to call people. You feel me? Actually, show they care. When you pick up the phone, and you call somebody, it shows you care. I don't even be calling people right now. I be sitting there like, please, I'm on YouTube. <laughs> I Google and stuff. I don't even want to talk to people no more. I'm kind of ruined from social media. And another thing I wanted to talk about was emotional detachment. Due to my own experience, I had to do it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel good. So sometimes you have to emotionally detach yourself from things, people's habits. I ain't talking about no damn habits. I'm talking about from a motherfucking Negro. I'm a female, so I had to emotionally detach myself from a damn man. We weren't finna get married. We had no plans on nothing. We weren't buying no land. We weren't doing shit. So I had to emotionally detach myself because this nigga put a voodoo spell on me. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get into a little bit of that too. So I, I'm straight now though, nigga. Yeah. Huh. Dump both of y'all ass. I had two of them, y'all. I had one in the background and I had another one. He lined his bitch and I had <coughs> another nigga on the side. I tell on myself on my own show. I had two niggas like two phones and I don't want to deal with neither one of them. You feel me? I want to be by myself. Ain't that right, Leron? We got Leron in the building. Indeed. I ain't got my headphones on because I don't want to mess up my natural little do I did talking to you right now. So what I want to do to start off the show, I'm going to say uh, shouts out to our fallen soldiers, all of the brothers in the industry we lost. But uh, a lot of people trying to ride the wave and the marathon continues. So shouts out to Jay Stone. He got a dope video. Uh, I honestly don't listen to a whole bunch of Jay Stone music, but I just thought about him out the blue. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to play that video because y'all need to continue whatever it is in your life. You need to continue doing what you're doing. Don't let nothing stop you. So, Ron, we're going to take a quick break. I'm going to introduce my co-host today. I have two lovely people with me. We're going to talk a little bit and get into a few more videos, do some promotion of whatever we want to do. And other than that, y'all, don't go nowhere. This is Global Streetway. Shouts out to Brian. We got the worst in the wise coming up next, too. Y'all check this out. J Stone, the marathon continues. LA, let me see y'all motherfucking hands right now. Hold up, Stone, hold up, Stone, hold up, Stone. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, come back out here. Yeah, yeah. Y'all make some motherfucking noise for my day one homeboy in for J Stone. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. The marathon continues. Believe that. Victory lap tonight, though. Victory lap tonight, yeah. though. What's tonight, up? Tonight, though. Long time coming up. Yeah. Either you gon' fold 
to step up to the plate When it's your time to bat, you show them that you great Life is what you make, I hope you make a movement I hope your opportunity survives the opportunities Dreams, goals, aspirations Dedicated, fuck how long it take We never waited, we elevated Thought we was gonna stop, we accelerated Through all the ups and downs we been through At least we made it Jealous niggas hated and the police raided Took a nigga from the block to the police station We wrote it all down, nigga, we mapped it out Niggas jealous cause they wanna rap, what's that about? Niggas wanna bang for the clout, what's that about? Been from the gang, get some shit I never rap about Just some young niggas trying to make it out On the road to riches, they was lost, we had a paper route Damn, I wish Nippin' Fast was here How y'all die at 30-something after banging all them years You know what we live by, nigga, we ain't had no fear All this money, power, fame still can't make y'all reappear Somehow I'ma keep this marathon going I know now it's on me, plus I'm God's chosen I know it's a lot of niggas not going Just like I know it's a lot of trades that's not rolling Both of y'all tell me keep this shit flowing Who the fuck you thought gon' keep this shit going? Me, copy Pac Man, Black Sam, Cus Capone, Killer Twan, BH, and A Dam. Hoggy left some blue faces in your casket. Adam left you a backwood roll, hella fat. I left a blue rag in the all money hen hat. YG bought an ace of spades, I poured Clee K. We took you through the whole LA, it was Nip Day. Obama wrote you a letter, what more can I say? Stevie Sun got your funeral, nigga, you the great. The marathon continues, that's what you would say. Hey, so look, hold on, hold on one second. I'm gonna tell you something about me and this nigga J-Storm. We used to sell fake dope. Real shit. Real shit. Just so we get our little 2 for 15 wig shots and go back in the studio and make records. I used to be this nigga engineer on Monday and he'll rap. He'll be my engineer on Tuesday and I'll rap. I'm just saying that to sell y'all. Staying down, hard work can go a long way. Make some noise for my nigga one more time. Hey, right, now listen. Salute. Shouts out, y'all, to Nipsey Hussle, Tupac, Biggie, Bob Marley, and um, all the rest of the people that passed away. And we got another person we lost recently, and that's Mr. John Witherspoon Pops. Bang, 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 bang! Get that pussy, boy. You better bang that bitch. Pops told you. Y'all better remember one thing, if nothing else. Pops said bang, bang, bang. No, I'm just playing, y'all. Y'all like I gotta have humor. Just wanted to give a little salute and, uh, you know, R.I.P. to Pops. Can't say my condolences, all that foolery I just did. So I just say R.I.P. to Pop. You know what I'm saying? And now I want to introduce my lovely guest. To my left, we have Miss Danny C, hip-hop artist, actress, entrepreneur, wife, all that. Let's give it up for Miss Danny C. Uh, and a builder. You, What's up? I'm in the building. What's good And then with you? for all my lovely, wonderful married people, we have a lovely husband to my right, Mr. Yogi. He's an actor, rapper, entrepreneur, <laughs> father. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And all that. I was about to say something stupid, but I couldn't think of nothing stupid to say. Because it was the man I had to say stupid on the lady. I can't get popped upside the head. She's like, bitch, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> so anyways, y'all, these are my lovely people here with me today. I see y'all enjoying the mambas and shit. Yeah. It's simple things, huh? I could it's have bought y'all some Krispy Kreme donuts again. Could have had some fruit. Could have had some sushi up here, but I didn't even eat that. All I needed was some mambas and some Please chips. Please don't bring no sushi. I'm a black person that like all my food cooked. You know, don't I only you. like one. Like the California Rock, I can only eat one. Mm. That's it. I'm going to need all my shit burnt. Yeah, I'm going to need to see that lines on them. I'm going to see them like, I mean, burn. You like your like chicken burnt, Yogi? Not, not burnt, burnt, but you no, no, know, crispy. well done. I, I like that. Hello, cook. hello, yeah. how you doing? So shout out to all my <laughs> chicken heads, bop, bop, chicken heads. Ooh. So thank y'all for joining me today. You are welcome. We was I wasn't gonna mention it, but fuck it. I always talk shit, but I'm not gonna talk shit. I'm gonna keep it positive. We was a part of a project. Yes, we. Were. I walked my ass away from. Her. Yeah, I want to apologize to one sister down there on the camera because she felt that nigga. Don't know what the fuck he was doing, but I cussed her out on here for nothing and shit. All right, y'all. I was talking to my inner self. So, anyways, uh, y'all, of course, met him. Mm -hmm. uh, y'all know I was looking down. Thank you, Ron. Y'all, of course, met him on y'all own. But that's good. Everything's been still working out. 
Yeah, it's closed. The stuff. project closed up for now. I guess I ain't mentioned the name because we ain't yeah. promoting no more. Yeah, so I'm gonna fucking came me so far, y'all. Just so you know, you dumbass nigga got blind carbon copied everybody in the email. They seen all that shit you was talking, and I ain't show it to my brother or the police. Karma is a motherfucker, y'all. Real shit. And I will say this since I mentioned this. This is one thing I want to say. When you reach out to people that don't know you and you ask them to help you with something, appreciate people. Don't be a dickhead. And then when you get to a certain level of whatever you think it is that you're trying to do and you damn near ready to finish it, but you feel like you don't need people and you start being disrespectful, you're disorganized, you're unruly and you're working out of order, then you act like and talk like you the motherfucking man and the God of the earth when you're not shit or the woman. So I said that to say, you guys, watch trying to help everybody and watch out thinking that um, you're going to get somewhere off of people. Whatever is for you, it's for you. If you believe in God, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, whatever, I always say that in religion because we all have a religion we believe in. But, you know, some people are like, I know Jesus is looking out for me. I know God looking out for me. I know Allah got something for me. And that's what you got to keep believing. Don't think that your blessings actually comes in an actual man. It does come through people. It comes through people. But always remember, don't ever settle for disrespect. Don't ever settle for disloyalty. Don't ever settle for people not honoring you nor other people that you brought to the table to help them. Whenever you're getting a part of people's shit and then they ain't putting no money in your pocket, don't waste your time. Remove yourself. And good, I wasn't emotionally connected because it was easy for me to remove myself. So I say all that to say, don't let people try to involve you in everything they got going on on the social media. And that's one of my topics, which is social media, the persona that people put on. So I won't be promoting one project. Do me a favor. Did you find my um, other my project that ain't out yet? Did you find, go look and see in the file if you can find a picture for a familiar lie. And I got a uh, video for that, too. I can promote that still. I got a movie still that I got coming out. So we'll go there. I got to, you know, I can't let that nigga ride. Because I be cussing people out on my show. So <laughs> fuck you, nigga. No, I didn't know that. Since I didn't say it on the internet. <clears throat> no, it is. Y'all can say what you didn't. Let me do me on my show. Y'all still oh, cool always. with him. So you're going to feel that way. No, it ain't, it ain't even that. You fuck know him. It because I didn't that. tell him it's, in the email. So I'm going to cuss you out on my show. Because I kept it professional I think it's in the more email. So everybody, uh, everybody has their breaking point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and you reached your breaking, he lucky you reached your breaking point in the project. And, and you exited stage left. You know what I'm saying? And everybody I brought to the table was a stage left. Every single person I contacted all walked away. Yes. He was mad when I pulled Kim, though. Did you find it? So I want to get to the social media persona, y'all. I want yes. to, uh, um, more of the story is don't nobody call and ask me to help them with shit right now. <laughs> if you ain't got a couple of hundred, a hundred dollars, fifty dollars, or something for me, you know what I'm saying? Don't call and ask me shit because I'm not helping you. And uh, just want to let y'all know that Christina has set the standard, doing that South Central love, being blasted all on billboards and bus benches, and being put in a movie theater, getting an Oscar nomination. I don't have to sit here and really talk crazy about that experience. I'm yeah. not. I'm happy, but I'm going to still mention it because I'm not going to promote it no more on my show. Y'all saw me promoting something, and I still had to say something because I was holding in things to be professional in emails. <laughs> but footage, y'all, is just as deep as uh, emails and people having you on camera talking. So you always watch what you say, too. I watched Nino Brown. He talks a lot on social media. He's on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And he had a video. I didn't share it yet. And it talked about how people get mad and go and cuss out their damn phone on social media. Uh, or go cuss out their phone. Oh, I've done yeah. that. I've yeah. done that. I've done that. I was, a victim has, that. Yeah. I was a victim of that. Done. And that's done, too. Yeah. So, I'm, you know, I learned that, though. Like, we get mad. Because you want to say something. Then yeah, and you, and you just go fuck. But that's, that's stupid, though. Like yeah. he said, it really is. Yeah. I cut somebody out. Boy, it's a little, little uh, Asian kid that it was a blessing at one point. Shit. Uh, shout out, JG. Hey, JG, mm -hmm. where you at? Out the shot of water. And then I had cussed his ass out on Facebook, <laughs> social media, on uh, Facebook Live. And it, it, I mean, come on. Like, you feel me? So I'm talking about myself right now. Like, yeah. that shit don't do nothing. It doesn't. Social media, like I said, I is, is a platform for people. Uh, to get out their emotions and sometimes people don't understand that it's just notes. it's just social media it's That's just it. something that you're supposed to use for what i mean really right now it's a marketing tool 
Right now, if you're using it, anything outside of that, you're too invested in it. You're putting yes. too much of your personal information and, and yes. your feelings. And really, it's because you know somebody that you're trying to get this message to instead yep. of picking up the phone and just call or pulling them. or pulling up on and them. If you got to say something to them, you're going to put it on the Internet because you want everybody else to know that you're mad at them. You want everybody right. else to also be a part of it. So it becomes... You know, viral, as it they does. say. It you does. know what I mean? Your personal, back then, we have an argument down the street. The only way it came, okay, you know, you, let's it go back to high say, school. He said, she uh, He said, you were in high school, you were in class, by, you were in first period, some shit started. By the time lunch came, you were in the, in the uh, courtyard, and you about to right, fight somebody. about to fight, fight. real body. talk. You know what I'm saying? So real at the talk. end of the day, back then, it was just word of mouth. That's and right. And it was traveling from classroom to classroom. Now right. you got about a, just pick just it a up. stroke of a, a keyboard and just press send, and, and you, you can say, and everybody it has access a to A lot it. of YouTube, a lot of people are becoming YouTubers off of, Creating junk. I'm looking at it wrong. I look this way. Putting you in our conversation, Ron. You got something you want to say? A lot of people are creating YouTube channels and going viral off of just talking about other people's business and yeah. what they're oh, yeah. going through and all that. Summer a lot Walker, of these people the that new you girl, Summer Walker, they keep talking about she stink. Oh, well. Y'all know about that? I don't know. She sing. Well, she's into the My Outlaws and that's the conscious stuff. A lot of conscious people, some think like the white people, hell, they don't like uh, soaps and stuff too. So when I kind of seen her walk. I mean, I get it. You, she had not, a you can get organic no, hold on. stuff. She do. She put a little bucket up on the internet mm -hmm. of a little wash bucket. Okay. And she like, y'all bitches took whole baths. But she just said she don't like showers for whatever reason. But you the can't sit in the, the story, tub. Well, you no, can't you do neither one. She, actually, she be taking little whole wash ups, and she look like she stank. I'm sorry. I'm like, Ugh, some she made. So it. does that mean? But she can play London, the guitar. London on sing. the track is hitting that, so he stank and too. He, and he look like he, he look like he look like he be saying he stank when he in her face. I be looking at the YouTubers, nosy ass. Oh man, Social media. I don't want to start no problems with nobody because I'm trying drink. to, you know, get but my I, money one day. But yeah, I'm just saying, she, I don't want like to like do like I don't have to stink to do it. I don't want to have to stink to do it. Yeah, me. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just say, I could read any book or religion. You a woman? Would you just always take wash ups? No, exactly. I have to, I have to cleanse my body. That's the part. I think it's somewhere in the Bible that we got to be clean. No, it don't even matter what the Bible says. <laughs> For me, I'm just saying, depending on wherever, yes, whoever, be clean. I think the Cleanness clean part is the closest is like, to God. God. That's, that's what, what they say. Said you want to go with the Bible? Hallelujah on yeah, the Sunday. That's what I'm saying. Yogi, what you got to say about social media as an uh, artist? You know, we see a lot of people, and we're not shooting. I only did one little shout out. Shout out to brother, but we won't say his name. But we're not talking about people specific. But you know how you look at social media and you can be like, <laughs> you don't even know them. You can tell they ain't living this life. You know, everybody doing something to get it. even retarded or handicapped people, not to say, no, not to say retarded people, but even handicapped people. Yeah. They'll do stuff to get attention. One yeah. girl keep popping up on Kevin Gates live on his Instagram, and he be talking to an entertainer. Uh, mentally yeah, challenged. I mean, yeah, she's mentally challenged. And I'm like, even, you know what I'm saying? The point is social you be media. That's the world correct when you, say you know what I'm saying? That's you guys yeah, say yeah, mentally yeah, because I'm not definitely talking yeah. about those yeah, special yeah. people. That's the yeah, I ain't gonna disrespect <laughs> them trying to be funny. <laughs> but what's your intake on the social media and this fake persona and what people are doing? I mean, if if that's your thing, go ahead. I mean, yeah. I mean, like I said, that's the world we live in now. Everybody, it is. you know, do what you, make you, you happy. That's if you make a star. On like media, like she was saying fake. earlier, you know, you ain't gotta have no talent or no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? If you got enough followers and enough people uh, watching you do silly shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Then you own. Like yeah. like well, the boy Boom. You know you what I'm saying? Like there you they, go. they was loving him when he was, you know what I'm saying, doing silly shit yes. and on drugs and about to kill himself. But then as soon as he changed his life, then it's then it's a problem. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Which is so true. Because I was kept thinking the stupid shit I can do. That's no, how they had it ain't me. Worth it. Yeah. No, it ain't. I, that's why he didn't. That's because the most like, somebody gotta do think that, that we go back to the social media. Be careful what you do on social media because that is fake. You go out in real life and a person see you and recognize you from your bullshit. Yes. That's where it come from. Because yes. see, both of them going to collide at one point. Yes. The social media and the real life shit going to collide, especially when you out here gang banging or yep. trying to, let's go on people that be trying to bully and cyber bully and all, you know. Yes. I see people go through all kind of stuff. You want to kill themselves off of something. That's, and you got to understand, did. this is a small That's, world. Yes, you cyber is. bully Danny C, I'm going to run into your motherfucker. Right. And, you don't and then it's not a social media thing at that exactly. point. We in, re we in real exactly. time and reality. And so then I'm going to ask you from whence the social media shit happened. What, what, now, what you had to say? What exactly. say you? And at that Have point. Have you ever experienced that? No, yeah, I experienced it. And Over for me, it's just, I just laugh because. I'm a better person now, thank God. God, okay. like I said, He changed me because okay. you know That's I'm right. confrontational. That's you okay. know, well, you're I, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I'm very, 
I can be, but I learned to be like, why, why trip off that? Because I know that's not really what that. When that person come across me, they are a whole nother person. They don't want to even address it. They be running away from you. Be like, oh, I know she's seen me. Okay, Uh, but she don't want to see me right now. But they did all that. What they call it? Twitter banging and all that. Yeah, internet type. So that's a good. That's a good analogy if we want to talk about the social media. That that fake stuff could get you hurt. So be careful. On what you put out there, because yes, when can. people run into you, because this world is small, you'll be surprised. And who that people who. floss. It ain't even about that. People be showing all of their little. Some people really be having their little money if it yeah. ain't fake. Yeah. And then they be on there flossing, and then mm-hmm. we wonder why people get robbed. And you know what I'm saying? It's just you, like people do. Them, yeah, you you checking in yep. everywhere you going? You telling your every move? Everybody think they're a sexy model. Well, well, now you know what I'm saying. You have everybody think they're a model now. Because I mean, because the internet validates them, you yeah. know what I'm saying. It really the, the does. More, the more likes you get, it really the, does. The, you know what I'm saying. And the more you show your ass, the more likes you're gonna get. The more likes you're gonna get, the better you feel about yourself. That's you know crazy. What I'm saying? That's crazy. So, yeah. it, so it in, in its own way, no matter how some people look at it, at the end of the day, from what I'm hearing from us, it's like it it makes some people feel good, no matter what. Like a person can be looking at somebody, talking about, just, oh, they fake as hell, but to them, they feel good when they get up and go in there yeah. and they run their damn mouth, tell every all their damn business. And I was in the grocery store today, and this person made me mad in line. Like, so fucking what? But like, social media going to make y'all bankrupt, too. Because, see, a lot of these people that y'all okay. looking at, okay, you yes. looking at the Kim Kardashians, and okay. you're looking at the, uh, I don't know, Kylie the Jenner's. And the rap- they got money, though. You know yes, what I'm saying? Do, and so you're like out here trying to really imitate. Like and, and Thank you. But so they have money honey. to pay to look the way they want to. Y'all can't. Y'all out here saving all your money. Instead of putting your money Some in a savings account, too, now. you going to get ass shots in Miami for $6,000. You going to go do all this extra shit. And your baby could be having some type of future. Right. Your baby right. could be having some type of education. Put right. them in some type of program. We could use some black engineers out here. You know what I'm saying? Not some no more black, rappers. I was just no talking black, about people I mean, that. They were talking about teaching. I'm just saying. Rap. We don't need more rappers. No, seriously. We don't need more... Actors, more freaking football players. We don't need more entertainers. We need more people. But the social media pressures people to make them think they have to look a certain way. Yep. So people out here, you you think they're not there out here going damn near broke, to trying to go and things. get all this shit. Botox, they live down the street, and you wouldn't even know. You'd be like, dang, she live right here in the hood, and then she got this new booty, got these new... Right. Well, she is working right. herself to the bone to go and get that, just to... Go and take a picture in her bathroom. Is in it, the hood. That's it. In the back and look like and put the booty. I don't know. Damn near about to die doing it. Yeah. That's and nothing because y'all died. going to these wrong damn doctors too. Yeah. yeah. I know a look couple at of Michelle. people. The real celebrities are telling you their stories. Yeah, now they gotta get shit reversed and now they taking it out. Yeah, and like making it back look regular. Cardi and now you supposedly can't. missing concerts because of uh surgeries, which probably was a lie, probably was ticket sales. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Uh, but now it's me listening to a YouTube. Just and ticket that sales probably mm-hmm. I repeat okay. you down YouTube. Mm-hmm. No, but you know they was one YouTuber was showing. I was like, this little brain didn't even fit a lot of people, but she didn't really sell a lot of tickets. Because <laughs> she be saying she don't really do tours. You know, she yeah. don't do tours. She do a lot of those little vits and shit. shit. Yeah, that's she true. don't do a lot of tours or whatever. But fuck her, we ain't talking about her. It's Nicki Minaj gang. I'm just playing. Who I like? like Nicki Minaj. I like Danny C. That part. Yeah, I like. I'm I just like saying. Boston. And I'm my favorite artist. I was lying artist. anyway. I don't give a fuck about a Nicki Minaj either. Shit. Where Mi- Missy, Missy is 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 the OG. And to me, like if I tell you what type of female you look at my playlist right now, that I'll be listening to you. Be surprised. It's not. Who was your favorite? Now that I mention that off the subject, who's your favorite female artist of all time? Hip hop artist. Yeah. Yo yo. I love yo yo because she was South Central like me. Yeah. But I'd probably say MC Light. When I was young, I used to want to be, I used to try to dress like Tom Boy, like MC Light. Yeah. And so I liked MC Light because she was like. Oh, yeah, I liked I all of them. But I you know, like, I'm from Inglewood and then I. Some, and she from the East Coast. Yes. Yeah, so. People think I'm from New York, so I can like MC Light, yo. Ain't nothing yeah. wrong with that, son. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We don't have a whole bunch as female artists to really. Exactly. To me, look up to right now, like the city no, girls don't. and all that type of stuff. That's trash. That's they trash. To me. I'm sorry. Stuff. All, all the music is, and back to that. But it's really back to the, how they sex is selling. You yes, know what I mean? Is. It's really like yes, everything that is. they're talking about is something that, you know, I guess I come from the era, but like, Cash doll next I know you ain't going to sing that song. <laughs> I can't say all that. Exactly. You know, I'm, I could be vulgar. I could, I mean, I could do it too, but at the end of the day, it's, it's like, sense. why? That's it's true like, that's, that's all y'all And can... that's all they're selling. And all the little girls, once they either, if they don't get the titties first, they're going to get the titties afterwards. Like the little Asian they gonna, they, They're going to go to jail too. Fuck with these sugar daddies. Y'all better watch out. Y'all Ooh. doing the wrong things. And, well, yeah. yeah. For money. Because social media, again, has everybody want to live a certain lifestyle. Back to 
Make sure you put your kids in some type of educational program yeah. so that they'll have in their mind go to school and I'm gonna be and something when I have, grow up. There you go. They'll have other <laughs> other uh, ideas and other imaginable things that they want besides <laughs> looking at social media or something that they want to be. If I mean, I get it. Some people are born entertainers. I feel yep. like my husband Yogi is a and born entertainer. And nothing wrong with us being more rappers and movie stars. Yeah. I still want me a little 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 bit of movie money to buy. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to be super super big because I want to sell my soul. I know that stuff is the truth. So that's yeah. why. Yeah, same I kind of stuff mine, I say. So. But they still give me a little bit of that money before the Illuminati money come. Uh, status. But so listen to this, y'all. You mentioned about the females. I wanted to play this sister video. Her name is Cash Doll. Mm -hmm. It's with Big Sean called Ready Set. But Cash Doll, I like her. My son mentions her a lot. He was talking about how he was um, seeing a lot of B on BT, a lot of videos, like I mentioned earlier. Yeah. They were all evil. He said, Mama, the only person video was evil, evil was Cash Doll. So she got some fake ass and titties though. We ain't gonna lie about that. But, her, but she's very she freaking got, beautiful. Cash doll is pretty without makeup on. Yeah. She has beautiful natural long hair without the weaves. Mm -hmm. But one thing I like about her music, even though actually she got some music where she don't even cuss. Her music is woman empowerment. She talked about real shit. It was mm -hmm. another video I wanted to play. Uh, he for everybody or some shit, but I don't want. I ain't gonna play that one. I'm gonna play the one with Big Sean. I try to play people music that ain't gonna get my dang gonna show me you because you get to playing Drake's and all these other big artists, and then YouTube don't be playing. Yeah. So on that note, we're gonna take a quick little break. I want to play this Cash Doll video, y'all. Global Streetway. We be right back, and then I'm gonna give y'all the Brian Williams words from the Wise. Don't go nowhere. Cash doll in the building. Shouts out to all the beautiful sisters that do music and realize that That's uh, right. they could talk about other stuff besides my pussy tight and I suck dick and I Thank fuck you. your bitch, uh, right. fuck Shouts your husband and um, we did a threesome. Y'all see the Kalani video and Tiana Taylor? I didn't, but I saw a couple of clips of it. And my oh, thing my is, God. I'm like, you know, God dang. Hey, the whole world going to be gay in a minute. You know Love what? Gay people, you know what? I did that? see that. They, but Tiana gets down like that. No, I know that. That's she all. It was like a pro that. And Kalani do, too. Obviously, we know ugly. now. She, she was ugly before she made it. She was I don't know. Movie. I just think. Um, Money made her look beautiful. But yeah, that, that, that was. These young girls are impressionable. That's and I get what. I understand that that's you. You grown and you got a choice that you can make and, and you sexual and all that. But back to the social media, which we got to get to our boy and yeah. get his opinion. But back to the social media, they watching this and this is what they think it's yep. supposed to be. That yep. I'm trying to be like this. Yep. So you're not giving these young girls to have a chance to have their own choice to understand yep. what you know sexuality is about, and they getting this view. It from goes it. back to the parents, like you said. But I'm sorry, social media and friends and outside. You could be raised in the house and stay in the house, and you know, my parents never let you out. And as soon as the bitch get out, that bitch got just, pregnant. Just, so, it has, but it still go back to the parents is what I was trying to say. You man. try your best, but you try kids. your best to teach your the kids. Child needs to just and, lie and, to be and, and, strong willed. And, yeah. But you got, like you said, you got to try your best to teach your kids at home. You got that, to. That you, and teach them is... to be followers. Be, I mean, excuse me, to be leaders, not yeah, followers, followers, to be authentic people. My grandmama, one thing she taught me, you ain't got to friends, them associates. My grandmama taught me not to kiss people ass. Uh -huh. She taught me not, like, she just really raised me strong and tough. And My that's why the attitude too. I have. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm thankful for her. Because some people, parents, or some people just raise people. They just go to work, and they feed the kids, take care of them, clothe them. And they just sit there raising school. them. Yeah, but yeah. you really got to talk to our kids. Ron, what was your in, uh, input on the social media? What was you trying to say? This is Ron, y'all, you know engineer. What? Hey, y'all, how's it going? Shout out, Mr. Morris. Rest Rest in oh, so, shit. See, Ron, you... Yeah, I got, I got it. Yeah, so um, basically, it's a lot of internet gangsters out there trying to be something that they not. You know, you got these, got these Crips and Bloods. You know, what I mean, that thinking they really live that lifestyle, but you got to talk to the OGs and you got to tap in with the OGs before you even start doing that type of weird right? shit. But like people in the music industry trying to be even like, even like. So, I mean, music industry gangsters. You know, what I mean, it's a lot of like a lot of rappers that think. Just because a rap, just because they went to a hood and okay. thinking they're they're affiliated with them and now they're gonna start saying cuz and blood mm -hmm. this type of shit. I'm like, mm -hmm. bruh. Then you, you like you that, weren't you trying to get away from that? that? Life, you know like I mean? that's what I thought they were trying to get away from. That's like Bow Wow. He came down to the to Compton hanging with the bloods. That's why he think he could say blood. You right. got Lil yeah, Wayne, that's Birdman, Man, yeah. Birdman. Well, look at poor stupid Takashi. You know, he had bought them all rags for that first video he did. When he first even joined them brothers and started mm -hmm. letting them before they started trying he to, he wasn't even in the gang. He's he a wasn't joke either. From the he was not in the gang. He had all of them in his video, and then he just started. And what like, is this that he got fake. a new? And he's a good deal. example of social media. Yeah, that made him and broke the shit out of him. 
But now, he, obviously, he just got signed a new record crazy. deal and he, he yeah, snitched on somebody and get ready to get out. That's crazy. If he was black, not to make it a race thing, it's not a race thing, though. But Because he's, he's Spanish, Snitch. he's not white. So yeah. they like he's white. Right. But if he was black down, can niggas snitch and be able to do the same shit he doing, I'm wondering? You know, when we That's snitch, out. it's like the pit of me. Now, now everything, right like point. I said, is back to social media. It's marketable. It's, it's, it's people want to watch. And people wanna do want to hear stories. Because right now, I'm like, I want to see how this going to happen. He going to live. After snitching, After snitching, get out. Y'all signed him a new record deal. Right. So what? I'm gonna see what the song's gonna be That's about. Gonna be number crazy. one. Don't forget the and mic. I, and, I also, the and, I also wanna, <laughs> and I also want to. And I also want to think about his fan base. Like, is he gonna gain a whole bunch of new followers? Well, you know, white people don't care, and they buy all the music. I don't know. White kids love us more. Shit, not more than our own people. I wouldn't even say that. But the white kids, my yeah. uh, white yeah. people get more food stamps than anybody. Them motherfuckers mm. do more crime than anybody. <laughs> right. All this shit, but we think we do it. Them right. motherfuckers probably buy because more they, black music than the black media. People. Not social media, but you got news and television. Yeah. Who do you see on there doing us it? Us black folks. Uh, hello. It's the crazy white That's why. We're going to smoke crack, shit. sell crack, and we're going to shoot a nigga. White people going to kill their mamas, daddies, nowadays. and all kind of shit. That's what's wrong with people nowadays. You know, like a lot of racist people look at this shit and they gonna twist this shit and make and make it a make it a big thing. And like mm-hmm. we actually really about that shit. Yeah. Well, that's cool. If somebody makes something out of my little ass uh, views because that'd be good for me to get some kind of controversy. The people that, I know and the motherfucker I mentioned earlier, they ain't yeah. shit and they ain't got enough. Don't even got views, so I can't cuss my motherfuckers. I personally know because I can't get off of them. Mm-hmm. I be wanting to talk about these funky ass celebrities, <laughs> but. Cardi B about the only celebrity to talk about people that ain't got shit and she crying all the time. I be want to cuss her out or somebody and get some views. See, I don't something. even... I mean, Make my name I great, motherfucker. pay attention. No, I had somebody... I ain't even going to mention that. My mm-hmm. uh, uh, friend, they wanted to, like, blast somebody. I was like, hell no, I ain't doing that for no um, clout. Right quick, y'all. We got to take a quick break. <clears throat> Brian Williams... Y'all know Brian Williams, always my ride or die. You know, his ass don't be here no more. I bet you, nigga, you ain't even at work. But I'm still say your words from the wise, nigga, because you faithful and you loyal. You know what I'm saying? And you be sending me this shit, and they need something positive. You know, what I love about Brian, he gives the balance to Global Street Wave, and he's very positive with his intake on life. He helps uh, out a lot of different music artists, works with a lot of different people, and he's slave, and that's why he don't bring his ass here to me, so... I will say fuck Brian today, but his words too positive, so I can't. I'm just playing, <laughs> y'all. This is uh, Brian Williams. Let's get positive for the energy because this is always positive, y'all. I got to make sure I don't forget to say Brian Williams' words from the wise. So let's open up our hearts, our ears, and our minds, y'all. We're going to get back to our topics. And let's get the words from the wise from Brian. And let me put on my glasses or something like that. <laughs> Act like I got 20-20 vision. I got 20. Everyday life is a lot of work. <clears throat> some days are happy. Some days are sad. In some days, we struggle to fulfill our needs. What is it that gives us strength to continue on when we are tired and struggle day to day looking for a brighter day? Sometimes an inspirational idea can help us renew ourselves and be fulfilled with strength to fulfill our purpose of life. Inspiration comes in many forms and sometimes that inspiration may be right in front of you. Danny, you over here eating your mamas. <laughs> yes, Daddy, tear them mamas up. I know what they have from now on. I just had, she was trying to be so silent, y'all, right? Like a little rat. Why she really messed me up, though? Because that was, that was uh, fun. I like it. I bought them for you. You're enjoying them. I'm like, really trying to do a you know slow. I'm like, okay, if she say I, 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 I was tripping. I was if like, she is she trying to up, slightly it open it up? Can't nobody hear me, I, damn. Like, I felt like he was in class and I was the teacher. Like, I know. Real I talk. Yeah. I just, okay, Danny was trying to eat the mamas. I showed y'all earlier, y'all. I showed y'all good mamas is, If right? y'all can really see what was going on behind this hat. Yeah, so <laughs> we're going to get back to Ryan's words in the wise. I just like that. I was sad to say something. Shit. He was making me laugh on the inside. I had to let the people know. Well, we left off, Brian. That was still positive. She's eating mamas. Inspiration comes mm-hmm. from in many forms and sometimes that inspiration may be right in front of you if your eyes, if you just open your eyes and ears to embrace it. So I'm inspired to bring more mamas because Danny over here sneaking eating them. The root of all inspiration is that our lives are meaningful. Inspiration is knowing that what I do matters deeply to the universe. When you have the feeling that your actions are meaningful, then you will become filled with strength and positivity to fulfill your life purpose. That was Brian's words from the wise. So the moral of the story is, is basically be always be inspired. You know what I'm saying? And, um, 
And be inspirational. Be inspired. I was going to say that at first because that's really what the hell he said. He didn't say always be inspired. Thank you, Danny. That's why Danny here. Because that's what he said. Be inspirational. Y'all, y'all can check out Brian S. Williams at uh, on um, Instagram. He always got some positive stuff on his wall and all that good stuff. Little dope pictures. Now, I wanted to get into our second topic, y'all. The second thing I wanted to talk about was emotional detachment. Hmm. And from my experience, I'm going to say personally dealing with uh, relationships, mm -hmm. y'all are married, a good couple. So, of course, there's emotional attachment that's deep and that's connected for a lifetime. So that's awesome. But for a person like me that's single, we need to be careful who we be connecting ourselves to when we get involved mm -hmm. spiritually, sexually with people and physically and all that and mentally. Because it's real hard sometimes when you are connected to someone. Having emotions is not bad. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be, emotion is not a bad word. You're a human. Yeah, but but the point is there's good emotions. Yeah. Like if you're rubbing his feet, because uh, I use them as a good example, or if you're doing Don't something. Don't make that just, example. Oh, well, no, no but that's a good I'm emotion. That's good affection. <laughs> you stupid. But just saying like good emotions. Say just well, when you wake up in the morning feet. and she's smiling versus being angry. Or just say when uh, he come in the house from work, you know, you're making sure he has food. That, your emotions evidently yeah. ain't nothing got Every day your brain he come distracted. In, he give me a kiss and I say, I love you. We asked how our day was. See, like, that's, that's good. Emotional. That's my point. Mm -hmm. And that keeps your emotional connection positive versus mm -hmm. negative. Because now when he come in, he always go sit down, go to the phone, social media, or he always looking on the laptop, or he always on the mm -hmm. more business, because they always negative stuff. Yeah. Or he looking at the yeah. stocks and all this shit instead of worrying about you. So my point about the emotional connection from my experience to single people, I do want to say, be careful who we do connect ourselves with. Because um, some people, I ain't talking to Ron right now. Some people <laughs> will purposely, um, um, what I'll say, some people will purposely manipulate you for their own ego's sake. Like mm -hmm. some people get a boost off of their egos when you are stroking them. I'm a good ego stroker and I stroke someone's ego so great. But in the end, you know, I thought I was doing something and feeling good, but it didn't feel good no more. Because, no, because you were doing all the work to ego stroke, but what was you getting in return? I was getting a lot in return. That was the point. It was bomb. That was the point. I, no, I'm no, not I'm, being too deep with it. No, no, I'm, I don't. Uh, well, what I mean was, they, <laughs> they, okay, let me, let me go back. I I was dealing with someone and there was no affection involved. Okay, so it, it was, was like a it physical. was like it was that's it. We could talk for two hours. They do it. They leave. I'm like, damn, nigga, you always do it. You leave. So it was cool though because right. there was no emotional connection. Action. I was tripping off of them if they didn't call me in the morning or like it didn't matter. Then I met someone who was very affectionate and, and very tender. And oh, girl. Oh, look me in my eyes. If they watching this, they can know what I'm talking about. And he, rather. And oh, just, oh. Yeah, got you and just. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I was just like, damn. And got that wasn't even open. right, girl. He was lighter than he was supposed to be. It wasn't even, it wasn't right supposed now, to be. It's it from the beginning, number one. And that was the point. I still put myself it's so in an bad, emotional connection. I but it feels so good. And so what I did, I had it's to leave. Dickmatized. And that's what I was. <laughs> there you go. So I had to, no, I had to. You heard it from a man. I had to dis <laughs> He's telling the truth. I'm, I'm talking about myself. I had to disconnect. I'm using my experience a little bit. I had to disconnect myself from right. them physically, right, Ron? And mentally. And once I did, it felt so good. Mm -hmm. So at one point, I tried to be cool with them, and that what they weren't getting that no more. You boy, please. I ain't doing none of that stuff no more. No, I'm just saying. And, but and see, it felt good. I, I'm the reason why I mentioned this right quick. Hold your thought. I'm going to let you speak right now. The reason why I mentioned honestly, because I was really emotionally connected to someone to where I was off. And then when they come around, I felt this way. But then I was like, uh-uh, this ain't right. And then point is, now that I'm not, I feel good. I don't wish I was still, like, felt that way for them. And it just feels good. So with all that being said, you guys, um, just make sure when you connect yourself emotionally to someone, mm -hmm. it's worth it. You're building. Like, again, that's why I have these lovely people next to me. This is a, actually really a married couple. They don't go together. They're not common law marriage. They're literally united, one. Like, mm -hmm. one, two souls connecting as one. So I love that. You know, about y'all, and then I'm speaking as a single woman, I prefer to connect myself emotionally with someone I'm really building with, even if that don't last. But not just someone that then came and voodoo spelled me and licked me in my eyes and fucked me good and rubbed me good. Like, you yeah. know, and then you all. But, but see, but see, this is my point with you. Well. You said you want to detach yourself with somebody emotionally, but there's got to be a reason. Because if it was okay and you guys both established, okay, we just not this and that, but that's the we one guy. We wasn't ever going to be nothing. But no the one. other guy. 
you was feeling all these emotions. So what made you have to detach from him? Because he wasn't going to be? No, I didn't want it. I didn't care about him being. That's another crazy thing. Okay, this person dealt with someone. They was in a relationship that was whack. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. Nobody said. Mm -hmm. Oh, because he was still attached somewhere else. No, they supposed to have, they had to end up breaking up. But she played fake manager and shit. She wasn't getting them no help. I was making all the videos and flyers. This bitch was sharing on her wall. She, to this day, she still don't know. Uh, and they had asked me like a couple years ago if I would make her a flyer. She knew it was in need of, but I don't want the bitch money. Point is, I dealt with someone, and I was calling myself a night nurse. Mm -hmm. I was given the comfort that they weren't getting from their woman. Right. And I know they weren't lying. Mm -hmm. And about that part, not like I know the woman, but I, I watch. I know. Right. I was social media. <laughs> I was paying right. attention. I ain't gonna lie. And I could tell, and then he whined so much about the same shit, and so they finally broke up. Mm -hmm. I never would have wanted him for me because already he was creeping with his woman with me. Mm. So what would I want him for anyway, Ron? Like, I, I couldn't fall in love with him. I wanted to. So I was, was eating But up. you did like him. You did begin some type of... I liked of... him as a person, but I didn't even care to go with him. I oh, didn't okay. want to even care to marry him or be with him like that. Okay. It just the sex was awesome and the, the moments was good. So why detach? Because fuck him. I don't care about it. I don't want that shit at all. I don't, I'm just trying I want to, because my mind is free now. Okay. It's not free to go have sex with other people, but it's just free from what I felt with him. Mm -hmm. It wasn't right. Yeah. You no, I get, I get, I get. So even though you're not together, oh, and then, and then it was full of shit. Because mm -hmm. then you think I'm going to help you while you still half ass connected and fake attaching yourself to these, to this. Like, it was, yeah. yeah, it was bullshit, man. Yeah. It wasn't worth it. You know what I'm saying? Bullshit, and yeah, it just wasn't worth it. So, you know, so my point of the story is my smart enough thing to do was to disconnect myself. Fuck their ego now. Right. I realized I stroked their ego. Right. But at the end of the day, it's about my happiness and my peace of mind. When I'm riding around and I'm in my car all day doing what I'm doing, mm -hmm. my mind gets idle. And I don't want to be sitting up here miserably thinking about a nigga, but I don't know later Have when they call me and they fuck me, it's going to feel good. About if it's not even about a boyfriend or a, girl, a relationship like that, uh -huh. just a regular relationship. Like, for me, example, like, you have family member relationships, okay? okay? And they always rely on you for this or rely uh -huh. on you for that. And what then they turn around and you help them. They don't re appreciate what you do for them. Then you end up falling out with them and back and forth. So you find yourself like, but then they in trouble again. So here you go. I don't you do that no more people either. But that's an emotional detached too. Because you have to oh, tell that's yourself. Good. I've been doing it. I've been doing it to everybody. That, and you just read me. And I have, a, I have a very close Finish cousin that anytime she goes through something, something, she like my little baby. I'm always running. Okay. But like my, my husband says, she going to keep doing the same shit because I'm always running. And mm. I have to emotionally detach. No, myself from what she's something. going on. Like, I lo you know, when you Finally, love somebody. I didn't even know to him. I did it to everybody. Yeah. That's what I've been doing. I'm trying to finish going. You know, you know you when you love somebody. somebody so much, you'll do anything to help them. But sometimes you have to. That's an emotional detach to say, I can't. I Ooh. can't not think about what you got going on right now. Okay. I really feel bad about what you got going okay. on right now, but I can't. I got it mostly. I'm just going to pray for you. I can't. That's what I do. No, and yeah. that's you know what it. That's what I learned. What Jogi just said, I'm going to be real with you, is what I learned with people. Every time you help I, I, Some people out there help, but the point is, who the fuck is helping me, honestly, though? Real yeah, talk. That's your... Every time I'm praying, and <laughs> I, I, have, I don't call people borrowing money, unless it's my mama. Uh, we call each other, and we ain't, I ain't called her for some money in a while. We're good. So the point is, what I'm saying is, so I forget my thought, I really don't be leaning on people to help me pay my bills. And, yeah. Uh, and, you know, and I ain't got no sugar daddies, like he was saying, the bitch needs to watch out with the sugar daddies. <laughs> so, before I forget my thought, um... Back to what you were saying. I really don't have all these people that's bugging me for shit somewhere to stay. Need to sleep on the couch. I don't care no more. Yeah. These people, that was my point. As soon as I help people, they act like they ain't got no mamas and shit that I done went to their house with or somebody in their family that can help them. Like, I'm their parent and I already got a grown-ass son. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like, I could just take care of my grown-ass son if I want to take care of adults. So what I learned, and you just made me realize that I did emotionally detach myself from people. I love people, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I'm not going to send nobody hungry. No, no, no. And if you need a space to stay for the night, yeah, but I'm not going to let nobody stay with me because yeah. I'm going to be mean all of a sudden so, later on. Go, I'm going to yeah. be bitchy and yeah, grouchy about shit. shit. Yeah. And now we're going to be uncomfortable yeah, and I'm going to lose a friend. Yeah, give them what they want. And yeah. that's their whole game. That's yeah. they whole so that's what game. I learned. That's so that's why like I that. did learn. So besides even that dude, that nigga, and I learned to detach myself from his ass. And uh, now, my, be now my little jerk friends, chicken coming back Anybody around. that's emotionally draining you, you should emotionally You said it, and that's what I was drained from the guy. That, you said why you're... it was draining, draining. even though it was, because mm -hmm. it was the thoughts that I was thinking, mm -hmm. though, too. Like, you, it's about facing reality. Mm -hmm. And if you're dealing with somebody that you know really ain't going nowhere, they can make you feel good how they want, but it's really not going nowhere, mm -hmm. you shouldn't feel so head over heels for no one that mm -hmm. ain't, you ain't going nowhere with, period. You should have a balance. 
So I just needed my but balance. But like he said, you were stigmatized. So once you cut the dick, it's then the emotion a, came I, afterwards. Well, I'm going to be honest with y'all, because fuck him and fuck both of them. <laughs> I had a little Jamaican before him. <laughs> Now, the Jamaican I want to attach to, Jamaican always had it wet, right? Mm -hmm. Every time, I'm sorry, because y'all get up we're not going to get too deep, honestly, because that's visuals. But just be real, I had the little Jamaican before him. Girl, the Jamaican right. wasn't affectionate. So when I got with the other motherfucker, it was affectionate. The sex was bomb, but mm -hmm. the point is, I, the, you know what's funny? I don't care to be cool with the man. Like, we could be cool, but it, it wasn't working. We're not mm -hmm. even cool right now because yeah. it just wasn't working. Because as soon as you mention sex to me, I'm not doing it to you no more. Yeah. So I threw everything off. The little Jamaican boy, I have control. You know why? Yeah. Because that's how it always was. No, no. And we finna do it. And then sometimes I give him some. And then, you know, he try to Play get it. And I'll be like, no, yeah, yeah. he be cool. He get it when he can. Yeah. So he actually is last going to last longer than the one I was the next emotionally connected to because right. I'm not emotionally connected to him. You got a system. That's all I can say. You got it worked out. <laughs> yeah, no, not, not really. He come back to the house, so she I told him I ain't really been having out, sex, you know, but I might need you, you know, shit, because I got rid of the other dude. And I let uh, uh, the one guy I was dealing with with this bitch, of course, he knew about my little friend, because he got a woman, bitch, so, I, you know, I used to try to play the mind games, Jogi. We try to play mind games and try and shit, like, I uh, guess he called today. And all that little bullshit. So, but anyway, so more of the story is I had told my little Jamaican friend about the guy, though. Like, mm -hmm. he came around me. Yeah. He had dis not disappeared, but he had left because he was working out the state. And when he came back around, I'm like, nigga, I done fell in love with somebody because I told the little Jamaican boy. I said, I'm going to leave you for somebody that's more affectionate because you ain't affectionate. And met affectionate guy. So when he came back around, I said, nigga, you know, been gone all this time. I done fell in love with this man. This motherfucker, he had a woman. He had this woman at the time. I done told him the whole spill, drinking a beer. He looking like, what? Yeah, and it was crazy, but it was cool because I was able to talk to him, you know? Yeah. So it was cool. So the Jamaican boy ended up becoming my therapist. Well, I was mm. being a therapist to the man with the woman. It's kind of mm. weird. That's yeah, my story. Yeah, a whole little triangle. That's how I said, uh, Bossy's little love triangle, y'all. Yeah. So the triangle's gone. Now I just got probably the Jamaican boy. I keep him on the side in case I need a little something, something. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be deprived of sex because bitches have attitudes and they don't get sex. But right now, I don't even care about sex. Pay me. Or leave, pay me no mind. I'm going to give me a back page. Oh, I shouldn't have said that because now they're going to know. I'm going to go on the internet and social media. <laughs> Not a back Give me some sexy photos. May go to AJ Johnson. Go take some little nasty pictures. And maybe I could sell Send some Gucci yeah. on, on, on Instagram or something. So they're giving That's away for free. The world now. Let's make it more than forty dollars, whatever it is. Yeah, so well, well, you can help me, bitches. Then you can help them out. Yeah, give you a little money. You can turn it to a pimp. Y'all yeah. can be my pimp. Hey, I got the coat on you the You know what I'm saying? Because y'all can, y'all can protect me. I have a female <laughs> y protection. Y'all see my fur, bitches? I'm giving myself away. I got man and female protection. You know what I'm saying? Right. The best That's counseling right. and guidance in the world. Mm -hmm. No, nah, but real talk, y'all. Appreciate y'all tuning in. We about to get out in a second, but with the emotional detachment. You know, I wasn't too much going to go to Google. I just really wanted to just mention that in a way. Okay. Just for, like, just people alone, though. Like, it wasn't about food and, like, you need to stop eating so much or gain the weight. You're attached to food. And, no, like, we really to involve people. ourselves with people, and we have to learn to stay balanced. Because at the yeah. end of the day, it's about yourself. If you're dealing with someone that you are growing with and that you are building with, yeah. you still got to find a balance to where you're not yeah. acting emotional, getting on each other's nerves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It'll be 15 years next week, so you That's know right. so, I only get on his nerves Can I so ask much? a question? While we're mentioning emotional detachment, you guys can't be a detached from emotions because you're together. Yes. So how do the men first, because women, we are a fucking mess. We're emotional and physical. How do you deal with this young lady before we get out of here <laughs> When she acts emotional, like, what is a good way that you deal with the sister? Because I know you go through it. And you can help a brother out. Listen, gentlemen that are married, I'm trying to help y'all. Yogi about to help you. Y'all need to pay out this nigga some money. I'm going to tell y'all to pay He better be careful. No, but real talk. How do he help? No, how do you help? She just said, very careful. Right, because she's that, that yeah, Aries, that Ram. Very carefully. No, I mean, you know what I'm saying? You just... You know, deal with it as it comes, whatever. So he six, he gives her good sex. I ain't even gonna say stick the dick in his mouth. I was gonna be nasty and displeasure. He just goes and rub her and say, like, baby, and kiss on her neck. It's same like he just do that. And she I mean, be there. Happy. I mean, it, every relationship is different. You know what I'm That's saying? That's what I'm asking. What exactly do you do? Like, real talk. Because, you, like, what I'm saying, I can emotionally detach myself from niggas if I wanna say that. But if I'm up here honestly with a relationship and I'm acting emotional about my man because he doing whatever it is, it's not good because it's gonna bother him. 
So it's a way he has to handle it that I got to recognize it to not be doing this shit. So what do you do to make her recognize certain things that she needs to not be doing so it keeps the uh, balance It depends the on the situation. You know what I'm saying? We, like she said, we've been with each other for so long that we kind of know each other. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So That's a good one. And you share, share it. I, I know when she's that upset. The I know when she's... Sharing you know, emotions. What is that? Because, you know, okay. we spend so much time together. Not like that. I tease Yogi all the time because I'll be like, you my like my brother, my my okay. father, because he want to tell me what to do. Okay. He's my best friend. He's everything. So when I say we share emotions, sometimes, like, girl, he had a toothache one time. Okay. Girl, why was I crying like my tooth was hurting? Like, oh, it like hurt he was so your bad. twin. Oh, my, like, I felt it. Like, so this in my is a soul. different emotional. When you now love I mean somebody, you from share that. Your, awesome. Sometimes you share emotions or you know them so well that you, you already know. Where not to go with them? You like, because well, you didn't question. say who made them emotional. It could be any reason that they are emotional. So even if he's, that's what them, I'm saying. Anyway. I know when a, when you know him, you know if it's a time to okay, Hope babe, it's gonna be all right. Or that's you know right. if it's time if he like you know how he a man. So sometimes just stay, the, just fuck stay the fuck back. Okay, let him go on and calm down and do so whatever he's really about do knowing each other. Make sure he eating shit. That's, that's all right. you worry about here. Slide the motherfucker plate that. under the dough in the studio here, nigga. I hope you couples are listening because I'm trying to help y'all. Because listening to me, you ain't gonna be be sucking dick for free all your life. No, Hello. Like, on social media. Don't do it I'm just lying, y'all. I'm just saying. I'm just lying. I'm just lying. Put a ring on it. At least put But no, real talk. Yeah, it's really good to have you or guys. So, it so it your hands media. to get your nails done and make your nails look nice when you sucking this dick. If you got a little nice little diamond piece, you know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, that's right. Make it worth it. Make it cute. That's right. so, make it cute. And so when you mentioned that, <laughs> as a woman, it's good she just said that. Because before we get out of here, one <laughs> thing people do in relationships it's all spicy in the beginning, and then we dull down. Oh, no. So see how you said keep the nails pretty? That's mm -hmm. what people, now I'm single, can, can tell you that. Yeah. That damn AC got me cold, and I'm about to start stuttering and shit. Sean, I'm going to go out I'm going to go out on the freeze. They're going to think I'm going to put off an ecstasy and crack. And shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas do this, y'all. That's why I got my, my fur on. They on something. <laughs> And don't be smoking weed with them, because you're going to be doing that, too. But no, real talk, because y'all just said the realest shit. And I'm about to forget my damn thought. But, because I was talking about the um, the attachment and shit and all that. Damn, I forgot my I thought. I was talking about my nails. And oh, stuff. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for paying attention. Always make sure you guys, in any relationship, even when you're growing, all this bonnet talk shit and y'all watching and all that on social media, stop wearing them damn bonnets. Let that shit sweat out. Let that nigga sweat your shit out, bitch. Go get your shit redone. Hello. Uh, at I am King with two eyes underscore one. He will hook your shit you up. Got that little nigga, he'll hook you up on Instagram. But no, real talk. We got to keep ourselves beautiful. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Don't lose that because the man wants the sexiness. That's and why. don't be afraid to ask him. If you know his shit and he ain't doing what he used to and I see him like he pumped about you like he used to, ask that nigga. Like, am I too fat? You not liking okay. something? Can you want me to bend a little to the left, a little to the right? right. Whatever it is, you that's better right. ask him what it is instead that's of just right. letting the shit sit or going to that's fuck right. with somebody else. That's how we've been together for 15 years. We communicate. Communication is key. It's I know key. it sounds like a, no, you know, a, a cliche, but it's it is. The truth. It's you the have key. to it's talk. In the, in, the, in the tough conversations. You have to have the tough conversations, the, the shit, shit that you don't, don't want to talk say. about. Hello. Right. And that's how you're going to be able to make it through. That's real talk. Mm -hmm. You know what? On that note, we got a few minutes left. I'm going to end on a, another hot video. But I do thank y'all for coming out here and spending the time to be a part of the Global Street Wave and what we're doing. Um, I thank you guys for your input because, it, to me, it really matters. And it matters to other people. Everybody has an opinion. But when we all come from different uh, walks of life, it always it seems like it always is somebody we're able to help. So I'm hoping today... With us talking about social media, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, people are going to do what they want to do, and they're going to be them. But more than anything with emotional detachment, that's something I hope y'all got something from the words and the why. Yeah. You share your emotions, or you will detach your ass away from situations and people, places. You're emotionally connected to places. Some people go places every time they go by and cry. Well, stop fucking riding by that shit then. Right. If you emotionally, if you ever tell me ride by the cemetery because it make you think of the people in your family that just passed away, you know, we got to dig in ourselves and just find that inner strength. It's in everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, if I was a 5% of nation of gods and all of that stuff over there on the East Coast of Jersey and shit, I'd be like, we are gods. Mm -hmm. The black woman is God. Mm -hmm. Okay. While you waiting, it's in you. The power lies inside of you. Like the last dragon. Bruce Leroy, <laughs> you got that glow, man. So bring that okay. shit out and stop letting yourself. Everybody, somehow, 
She hating on me. He hating on me. We always worry about who hating. You hating on your damn self. Nobody paying no So damn what I want to say to that is <laughs> love yourself. I'll be telling y'all to really go hug yourself in the mirror. Tell yourself you love you. When you feel good about yourself, there's nothing nobody can do to you to bring you down. So always bring yourself up. If you ain't got no teeth in the front, you ain't got no teeth in the back, go get you some damn fake ones. It's called daily affirmations, but right? Love yourself. Yeah. Real Tell talk. yourself little daily affirmations. Google it. And before we get out of here, I want to take another quick little break. I want to say shouts out to Boss Curtis. Shouts out to Omar Goodish. Shouts out to uh, DeAndre, the brother that helped direct the film. Shouts out to uh, the pretty sister that helped um, with it. Uh, <coughs> cute mama that was on the set. I can't think of your name, mama. But shout out to the whole cast and crew and everybody with the film, A Familiar Lie. I do still have a film. Y'all know I was doing the South Central Love. We didn't have that all over the place. That's over with. So guess what? I got some more shit for y'all. A Familiar Lie is going to be coming real soon. I'll be right back, y'all. We're about to end the show in a moment. And uh, just remember to love yourself. At the end of the day, there's nothing else. I'll be right back. Love the Streetway. Awesome. <laughs> y'all put that little cover up for me right quick i made another cover now actually in cycles in love cycles in love with carolyn elise i actually starred in that film christina cooper i was a, a supporting cast in that film for south central love but a familiar lie i actually am a star in that film i'm starring i was like thank you mr uh, boss curtis but i started in this new film you guys so that's going to be coming out real soon i don't know when the red carpet is i'll be glad when it come up and um, shouts out again to Mr. John Witherspoon, y'all, the people that passed and left us on earth. You're still here for a reason. And, you know, time is precious. You know, every day, make it meaningful. Always. You must ain't got it yet. Okay, there you go. A familiar lie. That's me and the A right there, y'all. That's okay. a little picture of me looking like I'm 19. Mm -hmm. So a familiar lie, y'all, it's a new film, one-shot films. Going to be coming out, Trey Ireland up in there, the uh, sister... Um, Pieta is the star of the film and uh, Omar Gooden is in there it's a new film I can't wait for it to come out something new um, anybody um, that's uh, looking to be an agent or something like that want to help me out I got a lot of work right now I still look young get at me let's do something I need some real people in my life so I can really get somewhere I don't want no fake people that's why I be by myself I got to emotionally detach myself from everybody. You feel me? Because your problems ain't mine. Take care of y'all motherfucking kids in your house first. We going to get out of here, y'all. D Smoke is the winner of the Rhyme and Flow. Have y'all watched the Rhyme and Flow? No. Yeah. Nah, well, nah, that's on Netflix. No, it's, it's actually okay, pretty we'll good. I was so crying busy. and shit listening to people's stories. Rhyme and Flow. <coughs> D Smoke was actually uh, one of the guests. I mean, the, the I winner. from Inglewood, though. He is. He was the winner. Kind of got mm -hmm. a catch of Lamar Phil last supper. We're going to go on that video. Before we leave, y'all. I M B O S C E. Follow me on IG at Global Streetway. Follow us on IG. Like us on Facebook. And uh, love yourself. Danny, tell them where to find you at. Find me at um, Instagram, First Lady Danny C, F I R S T D A N I C. And I'm also the same on um, uh, Facebook, Danny C, uh, yeah. First Lady Punchy and T. Let them know where to find you at. Yo, yo. Yeah, you can find me Boom at Stone. Punch E N T. That's P U N C H E N T. You know what I'm saying? You can get the Y O G album at yogi.herenow.com. You can catch me at the GCS store on the 10th. That's uh, 604 East 4th, no, uh, 206 East 4th Street in Santa Ana on the 10th. 206 East 4th Street. That's at the GCS. It's an in store. Um, we're going to be performing. Then you can catch okay. me on the 14th. 
um, at uh, Page 71 Lounge in Studio City. You know what I mean? We're going to be giving it up. You know what I mean? We're going to be doing it big. So I'll okay. let your boy punch e and T. That's what I'm talking about. I, got, got, I told y'all he's a music artist. He's active. He got things going on. So yes. we're about to get out of here on that note. I thought I had a thought of something. Uh, I don't know. I guess I didn't. Love yourself. But uh, more than anything, man, y'all love yourself. This is D Smoke. Shouts out to everybody from Eaglewood. Whoa. Where is South Central where I'm from? I'm from Eaglewood. Last supper, y'all. Yeah. Global Streetway. Keep it 100. I be feeling like hope. Hope. Nobody.